internets. This portion of the Combat Jack Show is brought to you by our great friends over at Bevel, the superior shaving system for people with coarse and curly hair. I've been telling you about Bevel for over a year right now. Been using their products. Um, have had had no razor bumps, no irritation, no nothing, nothing, nothing. Just a smooth, clean, fresh shave with a kit that really makes you feel like you've accomplished something in your life. Internets, for real, right now. Go to getbevel.com, G-E-T-B-E-V-E-L.com. Punch in the promo code COMBAT, like me, Combat Jack, for 20% off all your purchases. Once again, that's getbevel.com, promo code COMBAT, for 20% off. Shave like a boss. And now back to the show. Internets, you tuned into the Combat Jack show. Hey, King, what's up? <laughs> Yo, that's the most <laughs> worstest I know, uh, I know, I know. Uh, uh, oh, a, I've ever seen. How you been, that sir? That was a bad one. What's up with you, man? I'm man, good. just running, man. You know, loving all the love that the, that the internet is, is is giving us, man. You know, happy um, anniversary, man. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Nineteen years. I, yeah, man. Nineteen years and, and and building, man. Shout out to Premium Pete. We see you. What's going on, internet? Listen, we're so excited right now, man. We got we got a legendary. Uh, MC artist in the building. You know what I'm saying top five dead or alive. You know what I'm saying one third. Of le- the legendary living off experience set. The L O X. Yes, we got yes. Jada Kiss in the building. Top five dead or alive. What's up, sir? What's up, baby? How y'all doing? What's up, my brothers? What's going on, man? Yes. You know, I'm just happy to be here. You know, man. Uh, you know who else is happy to be here? This motherfucking bronze <laughs> bust of yours right here. Like, I, yeah. I've, I've seen this on all your press run, man. Um, like, you know, they they didn't want to induct me, so I had to induct myself. Yo, that's, <laughs> you got to do that shit, yeah, right? Sometimes you got to Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Baby. Yo, wh- how long ago did they did they did they mold this? Um, mm-hmm. they took the pictures and did the molding pr- uh, probably like four or five months ago. Okay. So this was before you got on the 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 the, the vegetarian vegetarian. Um, I was on. I was working out. Right. I was working out. How I was working out and um, doing my transition to my body transformation. But yeah, no, nah, no, nah, I was at the same time. I yeah. wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't the fat kiss. There, nah, you wasn't fat kiss right here. But yeah. why? Why you look so mean right here, man? Nah, because I, I guess when they when they took the picture, he asked me to look right. I was I had to look like straight and stern, so you know what I mean. You don't want a statue that's smiling, though. That's, ain't no, that's true. Ain't no smiling statue. I never seen a, a statue with a cheese smile. Yo, <laughs> who came up with this idea, man? My partner, um, my partner on my label, and my partner with the so raspy site, my man Jay Ice Pick Jay. Like, yo, man, <laughs> this is top five that are alive. This the album you need to do a bus. It's legendary. Is it'll mean a lot. You know what I mean? It's an artsy time right now. Everybody's involved with art, and art is so big. And you know what I mean? It's just, it's just a good look. At first, I didn't understand. I'm like, come on, dog, what you mean? You really think I need to get a statue like a? Uh, and he like, yeah. It, it carried like, around and then with I'm him. I'm like, you, is it like the Hall of Fame? You know? Yeah. yeah. Then he sent me a a picture of right. a bunch of busts. Right. I'm like. This might look, this might be all right. Like, know what I mean, this is people crazy. might they might re- recept it well, and they did. And you know, who's the company, man? Do they do this? They do this regularly. My man for everybody. Matt. My man Matt. I got to get his last name. Right. He's the actual artist who did the sculpture. And my man Tom Medovich was the photographer who took the flicks and when and made it come to life. He actually, if you see on the net. Um, a dude had the bronze Jordans, the number yeah, eleven bronze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. the guy who did. Okay, it. Yeah. okay. Yeah. So, so, so the album comes out November twentieth. November twentieth. Pre sales November sixth. November sixth. Pre orders go up, and we we running, baby. You know, um, this is like six out six years since the last time, right? Since the last kiss came out, so I thought things was different then from my previous album to that, but it's changed so dramatically in six years that you know. It feels good. It feels a little weird the way the way promo is and the way just different ways to reach bigger audiences and not probably the regular thing that I'm used to because right. I'm hands on. I want to get on a tour bus. I want to go to different cities and talk to the kids and go to the jails and go to the colleges and hit the malls and, 
you know what I mean, make that kind of presence that we just used to doing from being on Bad Boy and being on Rough Riders. That's that's just the way they used to do it. So I just try to incorporate the new way what's going on now and do a little bit of that, and hopefully it it all pan out to how I want it to pan. Yo, man, I think this is great because I remember when you first came in the game. The game, no I remember doubt. like when when you was in the studio with with Jazz O. No when, doubt. When y'all was the Warlocks. Yes. That's when I. That's the first time I, I heard y'all spit, and I was like, "Yo, these young cats is crazy." And then years later, man, look at you now as as, as a veteran, man. Still can can you believe that? Like you're a veteran in this yeah, game. Yeah, it's sometimes hard to believe, but it's a beautiful thing that you know I don't take for granted because. The, the lifespan of a rapper nowadays is a few hours. Yeah, man. yeah. You know what I mean? But it, at the same time, <clears throat> what we're seeing right now is cats that got the basic elementals, the basic structures and foundations of MCing and rhyming. They got the longest. It seems like you know what I'm saying. Like yeah, we talk about you. You can, you can, you can. You when you when you when you have some substance and you build the audience and you start from the bottom and. Your fans grow with you. You can create a career for yourself, yep. and that's what it's about having a, a career. Because it's a million rappers that came out last year that you're never gonna hear from them again. There's a million that came out the year before <laughs> that that Facts. they go and come so fast, and that ain't what you get in anything for. Especially, right. this is a profession. This is a trade. This is a business. This is your life. You wanna. Make a career for yourself, and the way you do that is by gradually growing and growing with your fans and progressing and showing progression. And you know what I mean. And plus, with a lot of praying, yeah, you got to do that because this is a definitely a fuckery business. But you know, it'd be all right. <clears throat> Yo, man, um, <clears throat> when you came in the game, it was a whole different situation with press with media. Yep. Um. Now everything is. is there was no privacy. No there privacy. Was no, I mean, it was a bunch of privacy right. coming in. That's right. what I think. That's what made the '90s or the golden era a special times because it all you have is memories that thrive off in. Right. You know what I mean? I, all I is no is no footage really. Maybe a little, but is no. All of the times I was able to cheer with Big. All I can do is think about that. Like right. you can't, I can't pull it up. Right. It's not on YouTube. It's not on World Star. It's not on the internet. So that makes it a different kind of special. Right. You know what I mean? Well, now is it's no privacy right. from you don't know. What you, sometimes I find myself in environments and somebody's just from the side. Ah. Just recording, you know what I'm saying? You don't even know them, Snapchat none of that. Yeah, they just they throwing you. So it's a different time. You got to be a little more cautious of how you carry yourself, of what you say, what you do, what, you know, your presentation. And it's just a, it's, it's different. Yeah. But you got to adjust to it. Yep. I, I said this same thing a thousand times today. Hip hop is a Ferris wheel, a big one. And the, the obstacle of it is staying on the staying on the wheel and maintaining what it is that you do, right. but still being able to adjust while it's going around because it's just going around, it's going around and it's changing, it's and it's changing. not stopping. Yeah, it's not stopping. Right. And the, the the challenge is to stay on the wheel and still be successful and still you know do what it is you do. Yo, what's your relationship with media though right now in, in 2015? Like, what kind of relationship do you have, man? You, you with you, the media? Yeah, with the media. I don't. I, I'm good with the media because you know I know I've been in the game long enough to understand that it's a business. You know right. what I mean? And I'm when I I represent my brand more than any label can or any other human being or company or entity. I'm speaking for me when you see me. So it's a certain way I got to carry myself. You know what I mean? And plus. I got kids, I got family, right. I got people watching. So, you know what I mean? I ain't perfect. I might slip up and do some dumb shit <laughs> once in a while. But for the most part, I know cameras is looking. I know blogs is watching. I know people is recording. I know iPhones and Androids is always on deck. So to the best of my ability, I try to hold it down. And as far as media, though, like I, I'm a people person, right. so... I could speak to them well. I got a good personality, good humor. They don't, you know, I usually 
usually don't have no problem with no media except if they just don't like me. You know what I mean? Sometimes they attack. They attack everybody right. when they get the chance, but I, I stay out of it for the most yeah, part. You, I get, you I get a range. lot of love, yeah, right. yeah. You know what I mean? I get love and I stay low. <laughs> Yo, man, um, can you imagine how a young Jada would have fucked up in social media? Like, if social media was out... Oh, I might have been. I might have, <laughs> if social media was out on, on my upcoming, I might have been finished, dog. I might have been finished. Yo, they would have they chased your they ass out of here. They would have did me, yeah. I would have been done. They would have semi sauteed me. <laughs> Yo, man, you're writing a book and, and a movie about, about the locks? I'm trying. We're right. trying to do that. You know what I mean? Big shout out to NWA for opening that door and making white America see that a good hip hop story can outsell a Tom Cruise movie. Or, right. You know what I mean? We could we could do them numbers in the box office if it's done right. And that was done marvelous. It was Crazy. incredible. Crazy. You know what I mean? I just think that Yonkers and the locks and... It's a big story that the world would love to see if, right. it's, if it's if it's done right. So we we're gonna try to get it done. Man. Who who's gonna play you, man? I don't even know. <laughs> I, I don't even know. Maybe my son. If we could do it all. But I would rather. I like a good act. Like they did. What makes that movie so incredible was no is no big actors. Right. They was able to pull it off with dudes that looked it similar to them, but was able to nail it just because they. They gave them all of the stuff, you know, Dre and Cube was on set so much, they was able to, to direct it pull like it that. off, exactly. yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? And that's just, I, that's what I would want to do with me, Styles and Looch, to get somebody that looks like us or, you know what I mean, some good up-and-coming actors and just give them so much of us that they could become us and it could come across on screen and do what it's supposed to do. Yo, I'm listening to some of these records, man. You can see with Future. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Um, How you like working with Future? Future was cool. That's a good dude. You know what I mean? I know I worked with him uh, on a few, maybe like three or four songs. Some of his stuff, something for my man Chubby. Chubby Baby down in Atlanta. He actually put me and Future together a long time ago. You know what I mean? So when when it was time to work, it was easy. Yo, and this other song, man, Jason. Yeah, that by, was by, by Swiss. Yeah, yeah. When you know, crazy. When, when I hook up with my brother, <laughs> it's just like a natural chemistry that we have there from so many years. So, it, does it feel? Like, how does it feel? Like, like years later, like you said, it's a crazy chemistry, and you guys come up with each other. But at this arc in in, in Swiss's career, and in your career, man, when y'all link up, that shit is so beautiful, man. Yeah, it's a beautiful, because it's working with family. It's not like, you know what I mean? We got so many years together. We know how to get the best out of each other. So, and we, and it's always a beautiful thing when you, when you satisfied with the finished project, right. you, know, you know what I mean? Or the finished material or whatever it is. So that's all that was a matter of. Like me, I know how to, I know how to catch with like a, not like a normal Artists will call them up or set studio time up or and bring them to come through and play some beats. I don't get my beats from him like that. I, I got to catch him. It's a certain energy and a certain zone yeah. that I like to catch him in. Then I could go to him and get what I need done right then and there opposed to the normal. I'm going to set up studio time yeah. and quad studios and I need you to come from this. Now I, I go to his crib catch them in rare form and get masterpieces from them that straight out the other oven, right? artists yeah. wouldn't be able to do because you can't you can't go to his crib if you don't know him like that and he's not gonna get in the rare form that i could catch him and yeah. just do that due to the fact that we grew up with each other and he don't mind letting it all out when i'm there so that's like a perk a plus that i got you know what i mean just my relationship with Swiss. Yo, longevity is is a is a rarity, as we were talking about earlier, man. But to see your longevity, to see um, Swiss's longevity, man, like like you know, to see Styles and and, and the Locks's longevity, man, like what's what's in the water that 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 makes y'all like the the, the crew, um, like 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 still doing hot shit, 
And I hate using the word relevant because that's a funny word, but but relevant, man. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I mean, you got to embrace the new stuff. Yeah, of you know course. What I mean, that's one thing because that's a blessing that you get from the most high just from embracing these new cats and giving them the game and the knowledge of what to expect out of this doggy dog fucked up music industry. You know what I mean? That it could it could really break a young cat that loved the rap and loved the spit and and then actually sign that contract and oh. see that it's totally nothing like he was sitting home watching the video channels imagine it to be so the dudes that are thirsty and hungry for that knowledge we love to give it to them cuz longevity is something that you know i i commend dudes like buster yes ll no i mean those are them kind of runs that they had is impeccable. It's crazy. And you 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 do it to have they have longevity, to feed your family, to be able to buy nice things and buy your mom's a crib and buy cribs and cars and take trips and you know what I mean. So it's a it's a career, it's a profession like anything. So if you if you don't get the most and the best out of it, you bullshitting and you fucking around. But you know the young kids that want to know. I love all. I embrace all of the that's new dope. stuff, that's, but that's the dope. ones some will come and sit with me and smoke and drink and just soak up the knowledge for hours. Come to D Block and get a priceless experience, and I'll be like, "Yo, he, he gonna have he a about, nice career because he is bigger than he's trying to figure out what he's getting into." And that's what you you should do if you anything you getting into, you want to have the most knowledge you can to to have the most success you can. Yo, the the Jason video B is is, is phenomenal, man. Ew. You know, you got the, the Jason mask. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Clifton. Clifton, Clifton Bell. Bell. He like, little nerd, what up? He pulled that off crazy, you know what I mean? It was I was getting tired at the end because he was making me shoot a lot of scenes right. all, like repetitively, but the finished project once again was like, whoa. There's a lot going on, Ill, man. man. There's a lot going on, man. You saying a lot. Yeah. You know, I can't breathe. Yeah, you know officer, saying? don't shoot. Officer, don't you shoot. No, that's just a. It's like a double, a double entendre, a double meaning, because you know, due to all of them, the foul acts and the senseless, the senseless shootings, you know, that went on in the past year. It's always good to. While I'm giving you some hard shit, that I always try to slip a jewel in. That's just one of the things that Kiss does. If you know, if you follow my music, I slip something in. Oh, and it could be the hardest song. It could be an R&B. It could be whatever. I always try to slip one jewel in. You know what I mean? So that's just that. Paying homage to them people and them families and letting the sucker ass cops know that we mm. we 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 are aware of the bullshit that's going on and we gonna speak about it and put it out there. You know? I mean, I I really appreciate when 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 an artist does that though, because it seems like. A lot of there's a lot of shit going on, and a lot of a lot of artists ain't saying shit. They don't care. They don't give a fuck. They really don't give a fuck. It's a different world. Mm -hmm. And you always wonder what's in the mind too. If you don't hear the record, you know it's like, man, okay, Jade is thinking about that. Yeah, you know, it's cool to know that. Definitely. Yeah. Now, who's Jason, man? Because you got the black mass in there. You know what I'm saying? Who is who is who is Jason? <laughs> Jason is me. You know what I mean? Jason is my real name. For those that didn't know that, but. That's just when I'm not Kiss, I'm Jason. Like, you know what I mean? I'm a Gemini, so they they go hand Team in Gemini. glove. Yeah, shout out to you, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you but know? but 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 that that Jason in the video looked like you don't want to meet that part of the Gemini. <laughs> nigga. You know, like got this... a good heart, but this heart can get <laughs> ugly. Yo, this past summer, man, you did these um, Freestyle Fridays. Yeah. With, with, with DJ Envy, man, on, on Power 105, man. Them shits... Like you bought a certain amount of electricity to morning radio just on the on the on the lyrics, man. I was tuned in, man. Like, how did that shit happen? Shout out to Fab, um, cause once I heard him doing the Friday night massacres, what? I was like, no, he was doing the Friday night, cause mine was the Friday morning massacres, right. and he was doing the Friday night joints. Yeah, and um. Yeah, once I heard him, I'm like, damn, this what they, this what's going on? Yeah, 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 I gotta ball I gotta <laughs> find a way to ball some of these Fridays too. <laughs> so I hooked up with Envy 
to catch the morning the morning run before right. you know, and I just rock and the Fab drive his joint at twelve one at that time. So it was just beautiful though. Um, the, 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 the rhyme over, right. the rock over, the the do the do what something that we do so effortlessly, but. The the part that amazed me the most was how people loved it. Right. But it fucked me up a little because I'm like, this is this could this could always be going on. Yeah. Like, you yep. know what I mean? Is it the this don't have is to be it a the audience? Right. Is it the program directors? What is it? It's coming that in. yeah, because you know, big shout out to Envy for letting it. For giving me that outlet, and but that was a big platform I, too. Man. Yeah, because this of the syndication, yeah. it was going. I was getting calls from cousins and family members all over the world, like, "Yo, cuz, this shit is crazy." <laughs> I'm like, how'd you hear it? They, they like, I was listening to it. it. It came on. I'm like, oh, that shit is syndicated. So that it now that became a different tool. Like, I'm like, okay, I got to strategize this because this is this is a good look for yep. me. Then I made that lead up to the mixtape, you know what I mean, and turned it, the album, it, it became a good marketing tool because it, it reached a bigger audience than I thought it was going to be, opposed to just reaching a tri-state. It went everywhere, and they fuck with them, but I'm like, dog, this can, this can go on all year. Yeah. Like they, <laughs> you can actually let an artist get a month or a few weeks or... They can bust it down, and that would be the people would eat it up. But you know, what I mean, I don't know if it's the powers that be. I don't it's, know what it's it crazy, is. But man, cause I'm just glad they gave us that. You know, what I mean, the opportunity to do it. I'm, I'm gonna try to do. I might do some more in the winter, or yeah, might to heat it out up. of nowhere. Yeah, just start doing them because the the people love it, and it's organic, and it felt good. It was something that we didn't have in a long time. That's why you know I appreciate Fab for opening that door for me and making me realize yeah this let's do this because that's what i came in the game doing that's so Yo, do you miss those days when you yeah, on i wish it was flex, more that spitting day. talking about Ooh. fucking fridges off the roof See, them, <laughs> all, all that shit <laughs> them, um i wish it was more of that but it it changed so dramatically right. that, that it you know they took away from that it ain't those, the were, the, those were some of the best moments, yep. though, in hip hop. You can't right. anybody organic. Not, not even just us, just being in your car, being in the hood, and anybody <sighs> being up there. Hove, and mm. Joe Button, anybody like just going in is is beautiful to hear that coming over the airwaves. You know what I mean? And <sighs> that was just priceless moments that we miss in hip hop and we miss the culture is missing that I you spent a mean? lot of money on those mixtapes bro man that, that <laughs> just was crazy man yo you said something recently about how um, you feel that the, the whole Drake and Meek Mill thing is good for the culture man yeah, it's definitely a battle battles in hip hop are good for the culture cause it, it, it we need that right you know what I mean that's from the Busy B and Grandmaster Cass yep. days from all the way up and all the way through that, from Cool Mo, LL, everybody, you know what I mean? Nas and Hove, me and Siegel, me and 50, whoever, Ice T and L, right. any type of, all of that was always good for hip hop as long as it remained on wax. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and, and you need that every so often because it gets, hip hop is getting bigger as, we getting big accolades, dudes is getting Grammys and turning into, you owning all kind of stuff and you're doing all that and you're getting away from the real elements of this which was battling. Right. You know what I mean? If you felt a dude was biting your style or you had something well, to say. Said a little disrespect you can't, yeah, to you. you know what I mean? And you get it off on stage or y'all make tapes or however, you know what I mean? And it's, it's sometimes dudes get they think they get bigger than the culture. Right. And that no one man will ever be bigger than this culture and, and you need to know that. And battles though, it brings it brings it brings it brings people together in a way because everybody loves it. You know what I mean? That's one so thing with battle with much battle. Energy. It could be people you hear yeah. they hate rap, but when there's a battle, everybody's involved. Everybody wanna hear the response. Everybody's listening to the interviews. Everybody you know what I mean? It, it turns into a business. You can make money, you go on the road. Other regions wanna hear the diss songs. It becomes 
you can start selling merchandise. It, it's all <laughs> type of stuff yep. with it. You know yep. what I mean? So it's good for the culture, but it needs to it needs to happen, and it still needs to keep some authenticity. Cause with do with this all of this digital shit now, the the way you can blow it out the water is even it's crazy. It's crazy, crazy. Opposed to just phones, two turntables. Yeah, yeah. yeah, now you can really make a mockery of your opponent. But Yo. it starts with the music, right. though. Yeah, you know of, course, what I mean? of course, of course. The music will always be the most important, and then it can get it can get crazy after that. But the way you get the people, real them in, you gotta have that music. You know what I mean, it ain't gonna mean much if you don't have the music. Yeah, when you look back, man, and, and you reflect. Particularly on 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 that legendary battle you had with with, with Siegel, man. Like, hmm. do you look back and be like, "Yo, that shit was epic"? I didn't think it was. Uh, it was it, people people nigga, people stop, loved stop, it. Stop. I didn't really think it was that crazy. What? It could have got it could have got crazy, right. but uh, I but you talking about it could have got crazy, crazy. Yeah, it could have got crazy, crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, it, I think it was cool. I think it was it was therapeutic. It was it was beneficial for hip hop. You need more. You need, you need that. that. Yeah. yeah, you need, you need that because that. that shows true skills right there. Yep. Know what I mean? True you passion, have people, yeah, focus, all you, of that. Yeah, that's, to, you want to be that's, a winner. That brings that brings the MC out of you, right? Like, you know what I mean? And it's good to just show that sometimes. So a battle, Jada Kiss, his beanie spitting, <laughs> his name. What are the thoughts, man? Get to the studio. <laughs> you know what I mean? Get your <laughs> ass to the studio. That should be anybody's thoughts when they hear somebody talking about their name or disrespecting you all you know what i mean get your ass in the studio <laughs> and don't get out till you got one or two or load it oh, up bag. hard drive I'm or bag. Yeah, yeah you know what i mean go you... load up the clips baby that's what that's what it is and load them up fast they they were stopping and have more you guys that. you guys were stopping new york city's pulse though i mean a, a freestyle will come out and the whole city stops mm -hmm. like i remember one time i was at burkina yeah, out uh, East Houston Street, yeah. and the, your free. It was a mixed. I think it was a case. I don't know what, what mixtape it was, but more than likely it was. Yo, case you like. you gathered people together to hear these bars in a record store. You know what I mean? And I think it was the line when you said, um, "I had to stop eating red meat." Cause I ate too many Beanie Max, mm -hmm. <laughs> dude. That shit was like, who's doing that now? Nobody's doing that. Yo, nobody's doing that. Yo, what's your relationship with Beanie, man? Oh, that's my brother. Yeah. No you know shots I mean? at Beanie. For yeah, that. not, not just, at all. That was that's my brother. Yeah. You know what I mean? Real, yeah. real, real love. Real, real shit. You know what I mean? We came in the game. He came in a little after me, right. but we we been through a lot of shit together. We we understand each other's plight, and it's a it's a beautiful relationship right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shout out to Seal. Yeah, shout out to Seagull. Yo, happy perf birthday, Puff. Yeah, Today's happy birthday to Diddy. Definitely. Yeah. Shout out to the Money Making Mitch project he dropped. Yeah, you're, you're, you're on it, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on, we on there. You know what I mean? Me and Styles along with a bunch of other people. We got, it's, it's really some dope music on it. Yeah, I, I even love the history of your relationship with Puff, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> it was, y'all, like, like when Puff put that sheen on y'all. It was mm -hmm. like, oh shit, these niggas, and I'm not even joking. These niggas is is they they official with these. You know what I'm saying? With the yeah. bars, with the with the bad boy team, and with with the with the fish eye lens. You know what I'm saying? And then the, the drama. Like, what's your relationship with Puff right now, man? Beautiful, our big brother. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, we 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 had contractual differences that actually I think brought us closer together, right. and made the respect level higher, made the bond even stronger. You know what I mean? He loves hanging out with us. He always invites us to the crib. Styles did a lot of writing for Money Making Mitch Project. Um, I did a few joints. And we just, so, we, 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 we got a great relationship with him. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, throughout all of that turmoil or whatever was the, the bullshit we went through, we, we did learn a lot about this game from him. Right. You know what I mean? He took us around the world. He took us on tour. We made some money, whether it was the amount we think we should have made right. or whatever. Mm -hmm. It still was grateful to have that opportunity to present us to the world as some of the hottest young flyers spitting niggas from Westchester and Yonkers, New York. And, you know what I mean? 
just that alone is a is something you can't get. You, you know can't, I mean? you to can't, put you us can't. with Notorious B.I.G. for him to embrace us yeah. and let us know he was nice. That alone is you can't get that. You, you know, know I want to ask you a question about Puff, man, because Puff, you know, people say that there's this big curse and he he's out for self, but. I get the impression, particularly when y'all was under his wing, man, that, that he really cared about y'all. Yeah, he's a good dude. I mean, he got a lot of he got a lot going on on his plate and right. in his life, so some things he might forget or he might can't. It's too much going on for him to please everybody, but he's a good dude. Yeah, man. Uh, a couple of um, I guess it was a couple of months ago, man. There was some Instagram posts with with the locks and F Fifty Cent in the studio. Is there any chance that y'all might be doing any business with Fifth? Oh yeah, we might. I mean, it's, it's open opportunity. He came up to the. He came to check us out. Played us some music. We kicked it. You know what I mean, good shit. You know. How how'd y'all get over that bump, man? That wasn't really that serious either, though. You know what I mean? He he did. He was a. He was a marketing genius. Right. Just a, mm. he he did his whole second album just off that. Like the, me doing the song with Ja, he was able to create a lane that, you know. But that wasn't about nothing because he respected our music. You heard him say the other hard niggas that come from Yonkers. So yep. that showed that he was already <laughs> fucking with us before any of that. So after that shit blew over, he came to see us like a man and. We did music, we did videos, we got on, me and Styles was both featured on this. The last joint. Yeah, the last joint. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's about making money and doing bigger shit. Yo, who who you think got the better ad-libs, man? Puff or 50, man? <laughs> Jeezy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, by the way, did you hear that um that game track with, with Diddy? The st- standing on Ferraris where they flipped the um big track? Nah, that's on Games Up. Yo, that shit is mean. Did you hear that nah, shit? I didn't hear that. Standing off for Robbie. You know what's funny? I heard 2.5 before I heard 2. Right. So I'm getting to 2. Nah, yeah, after this, I'm going to play that for you because I want you. I want to get your impression on what you think about how they they flipped um, um, Kick in the Door. Shit mm. is crazy. They went with Puff on there talking crazy shit. Oh, man. It's, 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 it's ill, man. Um, What are you listening to right now, man? I listen to old school shit, man. I listen to Sade and Luther Van Dross and shit like that, man. Freddie Jackson. You like Adele, man? Uh, I fuck with Adele a little bit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know. Yo, um. I listen to all genres of music, right. though, because sometimes I get too cluttered with hip hop. Right. So I don't mind just going a week or two just listening to all kind of other shit. It's like a. It's like a. Uh, a juice in another mind. Sometimes you gotta cleanse your mind of this shit and then get back to it real heavy. So, and uh, and in uh, those times, I'm listening to everything. Yo, yo, Jada, man. These some of these young cats are saying that the that the '90s wasn't the '90s is overrated. They had to not be born, or you know, they had to not be born, or they have to not understand what was going on in the 90s. And because for you to say that is, is, is merely an understatement or you just don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Do you feel that that that, that oh, it's almost like an insult because everybody that, that, that had their square well, It's like me the saying 90s. the 80s was overrated. <sighs> That'd be very disrespectful. He's so to disrespectful to Rock Kim and Kane yeah, and you know what I'm Slick Rick. I would Rick never and... fix my mouth right. to even say that. But, you know, sometimes you got to educate these younger right. dudes and pull up some discographies for them and let them hear what was going on. And, it's know, probably it's probably the 90s was such a, a standard. Like, the bar was set so high. And I think a lot of these young cats, rather than – you know, get to that point where they can do better and, and make crazy music. They like, oh, that '90s shit is. Ah, I'm doing this because mm-hmm. this is easier. Mm-hmm. We don't have to work as hard as these guys. You know what I mean? I think that there's a they're not content with that. You know what I mean? And I think that's why you're hearing a lot of these young guys saying, "Oh, the '90s. Uh, let's do away with that yeah. because the bar was set so high." Yeah, it's crazy to me, man. Like, I can understand. And the like, most money was made. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot of cats is sour because a lot of cats feel that niggas sucked up all the money from the 90s, which is not the <laughs> fact. I mean, it was just 
the the, the mechanics of the business back it's different. then. Yeah, yeah. It was bigger budgets to play with. Yeah. Yo, listen, let's go to a quick break, man. Yeah. SNS, you tune into the Combat Jack Show, the combatjackshow.com. We got Jada Kiss in the building, top yes. five, dead or alive. Internet, this portion of the Combat Jack Show is brought to you by Bevel, the superior shaving system for people with coarse and curly hair. Now, I know it's November, and some of you fools out here talking about it's Movember, men don't shave, why, why, why? No, listen, a real man shaves whenever he goddamn wants to. And when a real man shaves, he reaches for that ba- that box, that Bevel box, and he pulls out the most immaculate Shaving system designed for people with coarse and curly hair, man. Fuck Movember, man. Don't let nobody else. What kind of man allows an, tells another man when he should shave? You know what I'm saying? Like, what kind of man allows another man to tell him how he should groom himself? You're not that kind of man. Fuck all this Movember shit, man. Go to getbevel.com, G-E-T-B-E-V-E-L.com. Punch in the promo code COMBAT. C-O-M-B-A-T, like me, Combat Jack, for 20% off all your purchases. Once again, it's getbevel.com, G-E-T-B-E-V-E-L.com. Go to getbevel.com, punch in promo code C-O-M-B-A-T, 20% off. Tell them Combat sent you. Shave like a boss, and now back to the show. Internet, you tune into the Combat Jack show. We got Jadakus in the building, top five. Dead or alive, man. Um, Jada, man, you've had a, a, a very amazing career. Um, you did a ton of records. Um, are there any features out there that you did, man, that, that we might not ever hear of? Some dope features. Mm. It's a song that Green Land got of me and Pun mm. having a battle. Like what? Play bat like a. We ain't having a battle, like you know, disrespectful. But we having like a. That was the type. That was the um. The thing of the song was, for me and him to have a. They setting it up like me and Pun was battling. Right. It. Green Land got that song. I never heard. Oh it. man, it's crazy. Yo, Green Land, you gotta release that. Pun. Man. R.I.P. Pun. Um, I got a verse that never came out for More Money, More Problems somewhere. Word. And Diddy's vault. Yeah. <laughs> um, a couple songs I, I did that I forgot about. I can't wait, probably. Wait till I die to bring them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sucker shit. The, the, the best of uh, Jada Volume 1, right? Yeah. As soon as you die. Man. Yo. um, Who would you like to work with, man? Like that, that we might not think would be on a Jada Kiss record. Stevie Wonder. Mm. Oh, I like to work with Andre Three Thousand mm. just because we got the same birthday. Right. That would be ridiculously crazy. Yeah. Uh, Cop your shit now. Break weed up on it. <laughs> <laughs> I like to work with anybody though that that that's willing to work with me because. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I just love making music, and I love to see what it could be. I like to work with Lauren Hill too. Nice. You know, Lauren. Lauren, I, I saw her recently down in um, L.A. for the um, the uh, Soul Train Awards. Yeah. <sighs> Still smoking. Killed baby. it. Killed Crazy. it, man. Yo, you 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 um just became a vegetarian. I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying. on the verge. I I still eat on. Right. I still eat salmon. Right. That's it. That's the only thing left that I eat. So, Same. so no meat, just just fish right now. Yeah, fish. How was that, man? How's 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 that transition? It's hard, you know what I mean. Sometimes you a chicken, a chicken wing <laughs> or a chicken breast or something is calling you, and you just gotta just gotta resist it. You know what I mean? Well, I, maybe, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't recommend. I recommend you do what you do. Right, if you can do it. But you know, it's something. It's like a personal goal that I that I said I was going to do. Like getting off chicken is. We've been on chicken since you could ever remember <laughs> yeah. since you was a baby. You love coming in the crib and smelling your mom's or your wife fried chicken. It's like that's like a smell you could never get out of your mind and your brain. So for me to even be around chicken right. or go to Chick Fil A with the homies and I got to just get. Fries and you a ain't, salad. You ain't getting or, to that chicken yet. No, I mean I ain't. I, I just is <laughs> is hard, but it's a good it's right. good discipline. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? I might eat chicken next year or two years. I might break down and get a piece, but to, to be able to do it and be around it and it's like a, somebody that's like an ex 
an ex-alcoholic or right. ex, you know, smoker or right. ex dopehead or something that could actually still go in the circumference of people doing something they know that they've been doing the, their vice right. and not do it is a different kind of mind control and discipline that I just respect myself for being able to do because I would never thought I could get off chicken. Like right. beef, beef wasn't that hard. But chicken was like, <laughs> yo, what, who, dog, who, what, what inspired you to do that though, man? I I would say Styles, right? Because he he drops he drops shit with no problem, right? Like, you know what I mean, he he was only playing, he was only not playing, but he was only planning on being a vegan for a few months, I think three or four something, and it turned into he full fledged vegan. Like, it's a life choice saying? right now for him, man. Yeah. And and you is this the best way? This is the best shape you ever been in, man. I would say this is the best shape. Right. I still gotta lose a little stomach. I'm working on my six pack, but I would say this is the best shape I've been in my life. You know, stamina's up. My I'm I'm slimmer than ever, but I'm in I'm I'm in great shape. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm looking like a little kid out here. Was it was there any health, <laughs> health issues or or not really? Nah, not at all. Then that's the thing that I'm trying to. One of the reasons, I, you know, you, we usually, as black people, don't start doing something to the so, doctor tell you right. or to it's too late to something. You, your back is killing you and you go there and get the bad news. We trying to instill in our people that if you if you eat right and live right and work out now, you avoiding them bad calls and you avoiding that. Them doctor visits, that's going to... Doctor gonna, bills. You know what I mean? Doctor bills, doctor visits, all of that shit. You avoid it if you just, you know what I mean? Take the time out there. Educate yourself, to, you know? Live right. Yeah, so nobody calls you cheeseburger anymore, man. Nah, that was my old basketball. <laughs> Back in the day. That was my basketball <laughs> nickname, baby. My coach used to tell me, step up and shoot it, cheese. <laughs> Yo, oh, so man. so juices for life, man. Yeah, it's three um, of them right now. Right, three of them, and y'all y'all are definitely pushing out to, to, to get more um, chains out there. Yeah, we're going to open up some more. You know what I mean? We're in the process of working on two or three more right now as we speak, so. You know, it's a beautiful thing. It's going worldwide. Everybody's with it and for it. So, you know what I mean? It seems like there's a misconception uh, that um, people in the hood, uh, uh, like people that live in, in, in uh, predominantly black neighborhoods, they're not open to, like, healthy alternative lifestyles. Nah, is is that true? wrong. Right. Is, it, is, they, is they're, not, they're not being introduced or they're not around none of them. You know what I mean? If you, if you, we were just talking about this last night. Um, after I did a crazy promo run, they stopped once again. They went to chirping chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get fries and salad, and you know what I mean. So, but it's just saying that. Um, what you say? What was the issue? Like that the, that the that the the hood. Oh yeah, no, no. This is the thing. Right. It was your options. Your options. It's no options. Right. You know what I mean? If it's nothing but the Chinaman right here, McDonald's, da 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 da. Popeyes. Yeah, yeah bro. what are we going? Yeah, it's only. I'm going to Popeyes. You rolling the dice? <laughs> what are we going to get? Right. So if you if that's why we put the juice bars right smack in the hood, right. So we can show our people how to juice and how to you know get the greens you need and wheat, grass, and ginger, and box, and whatever you need. Because it's all about education. You pull them up on it, they taste it, and like, this ain't that bad. They start coming, they educate their friends, the bloods come through, the crips, police, That's crazy. That's crazy. the gangsters of gangsters and strippers, the the, <laughs> the clientele of people there is amazing. Everybody and then they it. start networking, right. you know what I mean? Because the, the slogan in the juice bar is love is love. So you can wear any hat or have any title outside of the door but when you come in is is love is love right. you know what i mean and that's creating opportunities and relationships and it's a beautiful thing you know what i mean yeah on, on the boat ride that that king mentioned earlier yeah. i think off air man i had seen styles for a little bit and we spoke yeah. um he, he recently went through tragedy man how, how's he doing and how y'all doing with that man um he's getting better he's getting better you know what i mean it's it's, it's hard to lose a, a sibling it's hard to lose one of your kids right. and 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 say that it's going to be easy. So it's going to it's going to be very time consuming for him to, if 
ever get back to his normal, normal self because that's just something you think about so randomly, you know what I mean? It's not like one of your homies or somebody you, don't you ever know. Want to yeah, you, kid, yeah, you don't ever want to go through that, and so it's hard. But him and his wife and his family and his son, they're, they're coming around pretty good, you know what that, I mean? They're strong. They're some of the strongest people I've ever met in my life. You know, I love them, and he's a their good pain dude, is our man. pain. That's my brother, right. no doubt. He's a very, he's a super good dude. So you know, we just, we just walking through the, we walking through it with him. You know what I mean? They getting stronger slowly. You know, they they able to work it. You know, he's able to come back to the studio and and get back into the swing of things slowly but surely. And it's just a healing process yes. that we got to go through together. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. And 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 now you you know you you kind of like a brand new father right now. You got twins. Yeah, I just had twins. Um, they like seventeen months old now. Congratulations, man! Two you, boys, you, you Joshua sleep? and Jameer. You get sleep. They 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 just they mm -hmm. they sleep. They they just starting to sleep all the way through right, right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? They they sleeping through. Right? You knew you was having twins, or nah? That was special. Like, Yo, that's you know crazy. I mean? when they, they said it's two of them in there. I said, <laughs> okay, that's a blessing because that ain't. You know, of course, twins is twins ain't something. Even though everybody's making them, you can go to the doctor with one now and turn yeah. it to two, which is crazy. But I don't. That's almost like ghost writing for me. <laughs> I, if it ain't the, if it ain't the real deal, it ain't you know. Yeah. But the doctor say yeah, it's two of them, so you know I went through it. With it. Why not? It's a beautiful thing. And know? and that's a big jump, man, because you got a, a sophomore in college yeah, right my now. Son, I got my son in Clark. Yo, congratulations, man. Definitely. He's a sophomore. He's doing his thing. He's rocking out down there, doing his GPA. is super up. I appreciate and love him for that. You know what I mean? And that's something hard to ask for nowadays because these kids are crazy. Right. This new generation <laughs> yeah. of kids, uh, they think far out. They out of the box with the thoughts. is nuts. Like, the things they believe in and what's... Reality is is far fetched. So it's for crazy. him to want to go to college and do good and you know live his life <laughs> in Atlanta, you know that's a beautiful thing because I wasn't able to go away right. to college. Right. You know what I mean? And and succeed and do good and not waste my parents' bread. You yep. know what I mean? So he's doing his damn thing. Yeah. How was it as a you was a young father, man? Yeah. How was that? How was that process, man? Be like. Fortunately, you know, it was a good process because right. I was I was signed already okay. and I was able to provide and and make them have a good life. But um, it probably would have been crazy if I would have still had to be in the street. You right. Know I mean? that, that's crazy, man. Yeah. So it was uh, it was it wasn't as hard as it could have been. You know what I mean? Due to the financial state I was in, along with having, you know, my kids, my my wife. Is a good lady. She she loves kids, so right. she she take care of the shit out of them. So yeah. that, that that takes a load off your chest. Of course, you know what I mean. And having good grandparents, my mother and father, and her mother, they're great parents. You know, so it's a beautiful thing when you got a good family and a, a good you know a good supporting cast. What, what did you learn from raising him that you're gonna do different with the twins? Um, I'm going to be around a little bit more right. than I was for him. I wasn't able to be there. I mean, I was there for him every step of the way, but I could have been, I couldn't have been because I was on tour with Puff. Right. I was young, yeah. Jada, and I couldn't control my schedule as to now I can make, you know, I can do stuff how I want to do it and keep a family trip or keep, you know, I could do stuff it's strategically right. on my own. Right. So it'll be a little, the twins will get a little more. They'll get a little more. But he'll be there to, he'll be there also. You know what I mean? It's a, it's going, I'm in, I'm in family mode, so it'll be beautiful. Yeah. I look forward to taking big family trips and renting a whole floor of a, of a hotel and doing stuff like that, taking over, you know what I mean? Going to Disneyland and having parks to yourself and, skipping a line and mm -hmm. just doing all kind of incredible stuff yeah. that you know you would do, you would think when you was young is far fetched you know what I mean putting the whole family on a private jet doing stuff paying like for that, tuition blow. with rap money is crazy man that's <laughs> amazing man yo congratulations man no doubt yo you said you appreciate this era because this era appreciates good music 
Mm-hmm. What do you mean by that? Um, they 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 appreciate good music. They don't care. They don't really care where it came from or right. how it was made, but they do appreciate good music. You know what I mean? They appreciate. You don't have to use big names. You don't need big name producers. You don't need a big name feature. They, if it's good, they'll accept it, and that's that's one of the things I do appreciate about this era. You think I ever had a hard time appreciating good music because they was focused on other things? I mean, the 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 way it was set up was different than I ever. You had to have some big name. You had to they look for big producers. You had to have a couple of Dre's, a couple of Swisses, a couple of Pharrells, a couple of somebody right. to get good seating in Best Buy. You had to work with. You know what I mean? They they looked for big name features. They looked for. All that kind of stuff. Rick Rubin had to have something to do with it all. <laughs> Working with Quincy. Or yep. You had to have some type of Teddy catch. Riley me. Yeah, it had to be yeah. some one of them type of things. That that used to help you more now, I to now. If now. If it's, you could have, I could feature y'all two on there. They're going <laughs> to love it. Oh, that's the dudes from the Combat Channel. Right. <laughs> the kids got that new. You know what I mean? They don't even, if it's hot, they going to yeah. fuck with yeah. it. So. That's one of the things that I do appreciate about today's listeners, you know what I mean? Yo, you came in the game, um, you got with a big machine, you realized that there's more, you know, the, the business took precedent over the creativity at a certain point. Um, it kind of turned you off. Here you are li- years later in the game. Are you having a good time, man, doing this? I'm having a beautiful time yeah. doing this. You know what I mean? I, I, I do it because I want to do it. It's not forced. It's not, you know. I go to Def Jam and predict when I want to drop an album. They don't have to, you know, it's not me going there begging them. It's me going there telling them. It's them begging me, yo, can we get this album <laughs> right. So that's a beautiful thing. Like, besides the finances and the perks, the the... The passion that I still have for the game is why I do it. You know what I mean? When I lose that passion, when I lose that desire to want to do more, I, I'll push back from it. I ain't going to I ain't gonna overstay my welcome, and I ain't going to stay knowing I don't want to be here. Right. You know what I mean? Five years. Took you five years to do this, right? Yeah. Why, why so long? I mean, that was my regular pattern. If you follow me, I always waited three three to five years to drop albums. You know what I mean? I won't no longer do that no more due to the state of the digital and the technology of the way the game has enhanced. You got to drop an album a year or two a year. You got to, um, you know, with social media, they want more content. They want more. Stuff comes out is old because so much stuff, albums come out as rapidly as that clock is going yeah. right there music and videos and everything so you got to give a little bit more now but um yeah i like to spread out the time to dropping just so i can go through things whether it's a, a gun case mm. whether it's having a, some kids you know twins whether it's going through something with family whether it's you know what i mean some all that type of stuff helps helps the music you know what I mean? I could just go in there and rap about Bentleys and Rollies and all that shit, but some substance always hits home better than some some bullshit or some gloating about money that most of your fans don't even have anyway. Right. You know what I mean? That's why the real shit will always overpower all of that shit, and that's just trying to. That's just the way I try to strategically do our. And the, that's how I used to do it. You know what I mean? I'm I'm gonna come much quicker now. Yeah. Cause you have to, but before I like to experience different things and go Live, through things, yeah. And, yeah, and that that brings better content into the music. We spoke about the bus when we started, man, but the the, the concept of the title, top five, that mm-hmm. are alive. What what inspired this? Besides it being my nickname or a a catchphrase or whatever that the people tagged to me. I just wanted to, you know, I ain't want to do no more Kiss titles. Right. So I went with another familiar title, you know me as, the Top Five. And um, it's a good conversational piece more than anything. 
I think it was very ingenious for me to even call it this because it, it's like a religious, it's like a religious argument. If we were sitting here talking about Christianity and Islam and Buddhism, uh, we could be here all night yep. till they come in and say, yo, I right, turn this shit off. Yeah, I got to go. <laughs> and, and I saw the, how the top five is because yeah. your top five is different from his and mine and his. And they'll keep going. And the, and the main thing of it that is really more than five. If you're a nigga that listen to hip hop your whole life, you can't squeeze your best years of hip hop only in the five rappers. It's really more than that. So it's a good conversational piece. Everybody's five is always going to be different. Everybody's five is always going to change according to what they was listening <laughs> to. Recent, on it. yeah, it's always no going to be rappers. Yeah, it's all you can keep Don't breaking the list. Yeah, Rock in the Hall of you Fame. You can keep putting. You can is, you and that right there is <laughs> you got to go do on. That. Yeah, right, you but it can that. keep going on yeah, forever. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you from Houston, that Scarface is the. It can keep. You know what I mean? It, it, depending on your demographics, depending on what you was raised. Up listening to depending on who turned you on to what they turned you on to everybody's five is it's always going to be different yeah, and it's a true. great conversational piece at the end of the day so whether yeah. i'm in your top five or not to be in the discussion is which, the which overall have, yeah. is the overall blessing of the whole thing because it's millions of rappers that said nobody's top anything <laughs> Millions. You know what I mean? So Millions. for you to be in the discussion of somebody's top five, that's enough to run with right there. You know what I'm saying? And it's a, it's a good conversational piece that will always go on. Like, you know what I mean? When you think about this album and when you just think of top five dead or alive, it's gonna it's great conversation. You know yeah. what I mean? Everybody's asked me. I'm going to ask you in a different way. Your top five from the 2000s and on. Mm. Who came out from two thousands and on? Like Fab came out. Fab Fifty, 50. came out. Dipset came out. Tip. Tip. Yeah. I mean, you yeah, you had a lot of people come out like Jeezy, um, Ross. Oh, then it would have to be like Fifty from the two thousands and on. Fifty came out in two thousand two thousand three two thousand. Yeah, it's a, yeah, I mean, officially. I, yeah, yeah. Get get it, it, try yeah, it, yeah, it have to be 50, Jeezy, Drake, Kendrick, and J. Cole. That's a good list, man. It's a very, very good list. Damn. Man. You know what I mean? That's a good five. Yeah, post 2000. Yeah. Post, post, post yeah. 2000. Internets. Yeah. Post 2000. You said, you Cause got, I know y'all gonna sound bite this. They gonna sound bite this. I give you a gap cause that's a good one. Nah. Post 2000, right. Nah, that's a good, and you you can keep going. Cause yeah. I can just say 90s. Yeah. You can say 80s. We can say. After 2010. Record sales. Yeah. We can say, it's all kind of, it could keep going on when forever. When people ask me, I always exclude Big and Pop cause it's like, that's, that's taking up two slots, and they already, they're like they got two permanent slots. No yeah, matter that's what, already, kind of, right? That's already they're like beyond. That's and, why if you don't do one of them, like two thousands <laughs> and on, yeah, they're always, gonna, always gonna be there. Exactly. Rock right, Kim from my era, right? Rock Kim, you say Harris right. one Kane. Yeah. They, they take three spots you know what up. I'm anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you got to break it down, and that, that's that's crazy. Yeah, that's ill that you. That's ill because that was a. I done did a million interviews today, and nobody. Was able to freak it like that. Because not everybody's the combat jack. No doubt. There's <laughs> nothing like it, baby. Yo, nothing J like it. Jada, man, top five. Dead or alive. In stores. November 20th, November 20th baby. Pre-orders November 6th. November is something 6th. you could enjoy your Thanksgiving meal to. You could, you could listen to it in your headphones while you're standing on them Black Friday lines waiting mm. for them cheap flat screens yeah. that they give out on Best Buy and Target and all that. You can... You could um, use it for Christmas. It's definitely not a stocking stuffer because it's, it's, it's bigger than that. So mm -hmm. it's a real gift that deserves to go under the tree. If you, you might as well just buy somebody the iPhone and download it in there for them and give them the whole thing like that. Um, it's good music. It's a, if you love Kiss, you're going to get the Kiss that you love. If you've been one of my fans, if you're just coming on board, you'll be able to get some of the new stuff with a twist of Kiss on it. You know what I mean? That's why I gave you the, I gave you the Jason introduction record to get you back into the feel of me, Swiss. That's just 
my regular element of what I do. It don't blend in with the playlist of what's going on now. That's why I gave you the future record. Mm. Then I came back, gave you Neo and Nipsey. That's for, it's covering the perimeter of my contemporary fans along with the new fans. They're able to make a marriage and a gumbo and cover the whole perimeter for those new people and those, you know, my fans I already had. And it's just about figuring out the game without compromising what you do, but still being able to serve the people. And that, that's what Top 5 is going to be able to is gonna be able to do without no ifs, ands, or buts. I'm, I'm looking forward to it, man. Is, is this bus going on vacation? I mean, on, on, the bus on, is going on the tour on bus. The tour bus, yeah. yeah it's, it's the bus is going to make its appearances everywhere. And, you know, it's his own, en- his own entity now. So, you know, got to get his this own Instagram, crazy. Twitter. He's getting his own Instagram. <laughs> Home bunk on the tall bus, all like, hey, living life, baby. Yo, that's crazy. Yo. I got a fanboy question real yeah. quick before we wrap up. Um, as a fan of Nas, are, are, are we going to hear some more Kiss and Escobar? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Nas, <laughs> is on the, Nas is on top five. What? Yeah, he on there, definitely. What other features is on there, too? Yeah. Um, Jeezy's on mm-hmm. there. Wiz Khalifa's nice. on there. Um with Stay Stay having the heat. Sheik Looch. Um, Young Buck is on there. Mm. The mixtape Wheezy is on there. <laughs> you heard that? The Ooh. mixtape Wheezy. Uh, spit it. Um, spit it. That's about it, I think. That's, 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 that's a nice man. amount. Yeah, yeah that's a great Ooh. amount, man. That's a nice amount. Nice nice Yo, man, well, well, once again, man, congratulations, man. Thanks for coming through the, the Combat Jack show. No doubt. You know, salutes to you, man. Listen, Internets, Jada Kiss, when you see him, Salute that man, top five. You got rubbed the mantle. Dead or alive. Internet. They saved the best for the last. I've been up early since, since the wee hours of the morning, and, and when they, I was going to start canceling in the middle, but once I seen I had Combat Jack at the end of the night, I said, nah, I could, I can, I'm able to do this whole promo run without postponing nothing because they saved the best for last. I appreciate that, Get fam. to go hang out with my fam and chop it up with a real organic, you know, interview and just kicking it about life is a, is always a beautiful yes, thing. Sir. It don't sound forced. It don't sound. It, it, it was all natural because you know what I mean. Like I told you, you, you ain't nobody do it like Combat Jack. We ain't even going cut no corners. Just make sure you always stay tuned in because right. this is where the real is That's at. Right, brother. internet. You heard that? <laughs> Top Listen, five. Listen, with that being said, man, dream those dreams. And man up, woman, woman up, and live those dreams because a life without dreams is black and white and the universe flows in technicolor and surround sound. Mm. Top five podcasts that are alive. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> this episode of the Combat Jack Show was produced by Jonathan Mena, executive produced by A. King and Chris Morrow, engineered by Samir Karan and recorded in the Engine Room Audio Studio in downtown Manhattan. This is an official Loudspeakers Network's production.